Oh, I hope you got some nice presents for Christmas. I know I did, and I'll be sharing some of the things which I've gotten with you in upcoming episodes of Gadget Nation. It's of course a brand new episode, but it's also part two of our year end review. Really looking forward to it. So why delay the start of the show? Facts and figures to really wrap up the year end. Now this is all according to Google. There are about 2.3 billion people online. There's about 5 billion mobile phones in operation. That's a lot of phones out there. Also, within Malaysia, we're talking over 18 million people are on the internet. Combine that with about 4.3 who are really active daily users. And they also say, that we as Malaysians spend 20 hours a week online. That's more than any other medium of entertainment like TV and movies, etc., are combined. So obviously, we spend a lot of time online. I know I certainly do. So, really wrap up the year end. We're just gonna take a look at some of the trends in the internet and mobile universe for 2012. Code Academy. Sounds pretty nifty if you ask me. Now, what have they achieved? How about signing up 97,000 students for their class in less than 48 hours, part of their New Year's resolution. Now, what is Code Academy exactly? It's an online class that teaches absolutely anybody how to become a programmer. So the man behind it, Zach Sim, said this was absolutely phenomenal in itself. But the growing need to understand exactly what we have at our fingertips, especially with such powerful mobile phones around and tablets and computers, etc., showing it really, really is an integral part of our lives. Code Academy, definitely worth looking out for. One of the biggest things this year has got to be also crowdfunding. Now, if you haven't heard about it, about it well, basically, got an idea, you get the crowd to fund your idea. And it really took off this year, and a lot of money was pouring in for people with all sorts of zany, crazy, and perhaps game-changing ideas in the long run. However, perhaps it's been a bit overexposed, a bit overused this year, so 2013, you can almost expect it to dip just a little bit, but time will obviously tell. Touchscreen tablets, they really are venture into the future, and this year has seen new game changes come in like the Microsoft Surface. They are certainly back in the game now, I have to say. Apple continues to dominate with their iPad, but of course Android's still going strong with so many different manufacturers releasing their interpretation of an Android tablet, and certainly many worthy contenders to the iPad out there. However, there's also been a bit of amalgamation as well, Windows 8, and we've seen a couple of, not too long ago here in Gadget Nation, as a matter of fact, of a combination of the laptop and the tablet. As for the laptop though, they've almost become passe as tablets get more and more powerful. In fact, sales of those devices are doing so well. In fact, we also now have a new category as of last year, but it's really grown this year, the phablet, which of course is the pretty much the Samsung Galaxy Note in terms of size. So once again, that just decreases the power of the laptop. Will that trend continue in 2013? I certainly think so. Okay. That's nice. Sorry, I just took a picture of the camera and you sitting at home on Instagram, and I'm about to upload it once I finish talking. Instagram, though, Got to talk a little bit about that simply because it's been absolutely massive this year. The ability to synchronize with your Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, whatever you really choose in terms of social networking. In fact, even though it has almost no revenue, remember it is a free app, there's nothing extra to buy once you're actually inside the app. It's still sold for a billion, or almost a billion. It's a lot of money for an app with no income. So next year, you can definitely see stuff like advertising happening on Instagram. Now remember, Instagram really, really was massive to the point where Twitter and some other applications started introducing filters onto their app as well, showing the impact that Instagram really has, the whole reverberation around the market. 2012 has also been a real year for social networking and sharing. Now obviously Facebook and Twitter continue to lead the way. Facebook, we'll talk a little bit about them shortly, but what about it? Twitter? It feels a bit threatened, I think, by stuff like Instagram introducing its own filters, etc. But there's obviously a uh, sort of harmony there because you can also share from Instagram onto Twitter. But expect all sorts of social sharing to continue to grow next year as we see newcomers grow and grow, stuff like Pinterest, etc. Now let's talk about the two big giants, though. Uh, 
at the end of the day, Android and of course, Apple. At loggerheads the entire year, we've seen them really, really fight over small, small things. For example, with iOS 6, we saw maps getting dropped from the Apple devices and they've obviously got their own one coming into place as well. However, it didn't go very well. No, 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 it didn't. In fact, it got to the point where they had to come out and say, you know what? Yeah, our application is not that great. You can try out what Nokia have to offer. You can also use Google Maps as well. Now, recently, not too long ago, you could actually get Google Maps back on as an application it was re-released into the App Store and you could put it onto your device. Android though still continues to grow massively, fragmentation still being a big issue if certain applications not working here, certain people are able to update the OS here but not over there. So it's a little bit disjointed in that aspect but of course the variety of devices available on Android certainly has a bigger market reach. Oh, but what about Facebook? I did mention that. That, of course, is another giant. Well, they've done well. They're obviously getting a lot of money. They passed over a billion users, but they also had some shambolic times, privacy issues, not forgetting their IPO and, well, the share price just continuing to drop and drop and drop. However, all three, Facebook, Google and specifically Android I'm talking about, and Apple and their iOS, etc., will continue to be absolutely massive next year, even though Microsoft and Nokia are really trying to get back into that market. Can they do so? Might be a little bit too late, but they really, really, really need to step it up, especially the 920 just around the corner. Let's expand a bit about Apple and of course Android. Now Steve Jobs passed away last year and a lot of people were questioning whether Tim Cook could really steer the ship in the right direction, being that he's more of a financial man rather than a creative brain. However, we look at it now, end of 2012, and Apple are still going strong. Their new iPhone 5 selling very well. The iPad mini has come out, so it should be added. With the iPad mini out now, it's the first time that Apple haven't led the way, but are copying what is already out. In this fact, it's a smaller tablet, which we've seen from stuff like Android for quite a while now. Could that be an indication of the future? Very hard to say at this point in time, but the iPad mini, of course, is selling rather well overseas. Now, I've got some facts and figures here which I've prepared. 136 million units in quarter three 2012 were sold for Android devices. Now, this means items that are shipped, not necessarily sold, but it shows the huge demand, the fact that they would ship so many. A lot of this has to come down to Samsung, who are leading the way in terms of Android devices. Now, here, the facts I prepared, 31 to 35% of smartphone market share is held by Samsung. It's slightly down because other manufacturers, of course, are trying to get in on that Android market and are upping production of their own devices, but still very, very substantial. Now, just to give you this, 56.3 million units were sold uh, for Samsung. Now, this is really down to their S3, which is their flagship phone, but at the same time, Apple sold 26.9. That is more than double, obviously, but Samsung really leading the market for Android. Expect that to continue next year, definitely. So what do I have to say in closing because I've talked a lot? Well, expect everybody to be very competitive with each other. Samsung may be leading the way in terms of Android devices, but other manufacturers will be upping their game to try and get more of a market share. I've already mentioned that part. Who will be dominant in Android? Well, at the end of the day, it's Android that wins over Apple. Apple will be looking to perhaps really try to dig themselves back into the market after losing out quite a fair bit to Android, but they'll still continue strong because of the incredibly brilliant ecosystem which they've developed so far. Now, other things specific here in Malaysia, expect stuff like mobile payment, you know, having your phone where you can make payments, etc., to grow in the next year. 2012 has also seen the development, well, not so much development, but growth of the cloud in terms of how you store information for your phone, information for your documents, etc. That's not going to get any smaller either. Another uh, point which I like to bring up for next year specific to Malaysia would be content online. This year has seen iTunes finally open up 
content for Malaysian users in terms of movies. Yeah, it's not as expansive as what we can see in America or in Europe, but it is still a start. The ability to rent movies, perhaps in the future, more for TV shows, for music. In fact, iTunes, now we get a lot of local artists and you can download their music on your localized version of iTunes. And some of it is even available in the iTunes store in America. So that is absolutely brilliant in terms of sharing content. And it's great for local people to put up their stuff as well. I mean, I could go on and on and on. I haven't even really touched on Microsoft and Nokia and what to expect from them next year, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But we could go on and on. It's time for me to say that's it for now. What do you think? Make sure you leave us your feedback. Look for us on Facebook and on Twitter.